suddenness. Angie. Now the Chinese will know. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode involving my mate Arnab Goswami. Indian options. Only hair or smile to Jannah. Dush. That's a Jannah. All right, guys, let me fill you in with the background. Yeah, India and China have been disputing the whole border problem. Yeah, in the Ladakh area, there hasn't been a severe, serious skirmish. Yeah, until now. That's right, a serious skirmish took place and 20 Indian soldiers were killed. I know what you guys are thinking. Yeah, 20 of your soldiers being killed. It's gonna kick off mate, yeah? Two of the highest populous countries on the planet, both nuclear powers and India giving it all that when it comes to Kashmir, yeah? And when it comes to oppressing Muslims, yes, let's see what you guys are gonna do. Come on mate, tell us, tell us what you guys are doing. It said or not, we have black blocked 59 apps and among those apps is TikTok. Yeah, well, that, that was a bit of a disappointment, I'm not gonna lie. Suddenness. The sheer suddenness of the move, the unexpected nature of the move, the unpredictability of the move, the fact that there was no warning to the Chinese. They don't know what hit them. Now the Chinese will know. Now the Chinese will know that when we want to act, we shall act as we wish without warning. That we shall move in stealth and attack when necessary. You see, Arnab, you're trying to sell this a bit too much, mate. You just uninstalled a couple of apps in your country. I mean, if Bill Gates came and sucker punched me in the face, and the most I did was go home and uninstall PowerPoint, the two are not equal, mate. In fact, it makes me look like a wuss. You're here on the other hand trying to make it seem like you guys won World War Three. They don't know what hit them. Now the Chinese will know. I mean, if my mate kicked me in the face, and I just blocked him on WhatsApp. The two are just not equal, mate. I can't now go around the next day saying, yo, this is what I do. This is how I handle business, mate. Don't ever mess with me ever again. That's literally what India is doing, giving it all that. When you've just literally uninstalled a couple of apps. The unexpected nature of the move, the unpredictability of the move. And you know what? The reason why he said TikTok and others we have black blocked 59 apps and among those apps is TikTok. Is because <laughs> no one cares about the other apps. They're useless. That we, we the people of India, not just our government, we are ready to fight the economic battle. The amount of times this guy has said we. That we, we, we. I'm thinking maybe this guy's got a cold yellow situation going on down there and he's just trying to just hint to the director mate let me go we we yeah these shows get too long mate I need to go and take a leak I promise I'm not gonna block the toilets again we are ready to fight did the people vote for this of course they didn't that is not we it's you, <laughs> yeah? It's the government. The government's already done it and now it's getting squirmy, slimy news anchors like yourself to sell to the people and convince them afterwards that what the government did was the right thing. The new India. The India which in 10 years is on its way to being a superpower. If blocking TikTok is about to make India a superpower, I'm sure blocking Facebook and WhatsApp is gonna make it an intergalactic superpower. There's just no stopping them, frankly. We battle each other, we fight, we attack, we argue, we debate. That's what this show is about. But this, this is brilliant. He literally admits that his platform is what causes fights, battles, and what do you say? Attacks. And he's got the nerve to make it <laughs> to make it seem like it's actually a good thing. Yeah, he's actually like, look, this, this is what we do on our platform, mate. They should get that printed on their t-shirt. We cause fights. We get you to argue and fight. Join us at nine o'clock, where you'll probably end up with a high blood pressure, hating immigrants, and insomnia. See you then. India defeats China's data warfare. Data warfare. That's like the lamest kind of warfare, mate. If it was remotely cool, 
Call of Duty would have released a version. Yeah, Call of Duty and the data warfare of India with China would they ban the TikTok. Own it now for two ninety nine, and it's fifty percent off. I mean, I can't imagine the latest 007 where he's just sitting on the computer, you know, doing a data battle with China in his, you know, pajamas and with coffee stains on his t-shirt. You know what I'm saying? I received the first call from one of my sources at the highest levels of the government. And the call was simple. It said, Arnob, we have black blocked 59 apps. And among those apps is TikTok. Why are you bragging about somebody that's literally told you something that we found out five minutes later? I mean, just open up, you know, just open up TikTok. If it's not working, clearly it's been banned. We have, we have no, Indian no, options. No, no, no. Indian options. We have global options. We have Indian options, we have Korean options. We have Japanese options, we have Swadeshi options. But why do we need TikTok or Zoom for that matter? When a person starts listing out stuff, you know he's run out of things to say, mate. This guy is doing some class A waffling. Or he could have just realized that the Indian options were garbage and now he's trying to compensate for the lack of options in India. And there's a great big list coming up, frankly. Now, despite him admitting that his channel causes argumentation and fighting, people are still going to continue watching him. But they are not the intelligent type of people that you and I assume them to be. Yep. The best part of this is it will severely damage Chinese global interests. That's why Anup Goswami is speaking so slowly because these people can't process that amount of data. Data warfare. Zoom is not apparently on the list right now, I'm told viewers. I'm surprised it's not. Yeah, because maybe it's not in China. It's in America. We did not find the Zoom app on the list. Why not? Is there going to be a second list? What more can you tell us? Abhishek. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he squirming in his chair? Well, while, Arno, while there is a possibility of a second list, the reason perhaps why Zoom is not there is because uh, I believe it's registered in the United States. So Even his own team has to school him live on air and still people are watching him going, yep, this guy is the Don, mate. No autographs, please. And normally what happens on news stations is they do their research, then they tell you the news. Arnab Goswami is doing it the other way around, mate. He's telling you the news, and then he's doing his research mate. So that was the news and uh, yeah, uh, my message to India is ease the lockdown in Kashmir and calm down and treat your fellow Muslims with respect mate. Otherwise I'm going to keep these videos coming frankly. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to cease. The unexpected nature of the move, the unpredictability of the move. I'm going to leave it there guys until next time. Assalamu alaikum.